My name's Justin Hopkins with National Equipment Dealers. We're here in Gainesville, Georgia. I'm here standing next to Gabe with FM Kitchens, who have recently bought three 30-ton trucks from us. Gabe, can you tell us a little bit about this job, some of the challenges you may have had, and your impressions with the Bell truck so far? Uh, so far, it's roughly a 17-acre overall site. We have two different sites here we're working on across the road from one another. The site I'm particularly on is about seven and seven and a half to eight acres. We're moving roughly 70, 80,000 yards of dirt on site, and it's gonna be a new public shopping center okay. for the North Thompson Bridge area. Um, as far as challenges, we really haven't had any. Had some weather issues, a few delays with rain. Other than that, that's about it. Gabe, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with the Bell truck so far, some of the feedback from your operators, some of the experiences you've had maybe in the past with other trucks compared to what you're working with now? Yeah, I mean, uh, We've had some issues with some of our older model trucks, so we got with NED and they brought us out a, a couple of new Bell 30 ton trucks. We've been running two of them now for a little over a month, month and a half. And then we've added a third one to our fleet out on this site. And it's actually, it's made our production go up a lot more than where we were at. We were having a lot of breakdown issues, just wear and tear, you know, stuff gets a lot of hours on it. Um, these trucks, as far as creature comforts, the operators that sent them love them. They're fantastic. They, right. they can't brag enough about how nice it is to get in these trucks. They're like Cadillacs. Yeah. So what I've noticed is the cycle times. When I'm loading these trucks, they're back before I can usually get the next one loaded. So, you know, they're running and dumping and, and it's just moving very seamlessly right now since we've had these newer trucks or these new trucks. And uh, so far, man, we've been very pleased. I've been real pleased with the service too. Um, that's been a big issue in the past with us, with other companies we've dealt with. Fantastic. Service issues kills us. When we got stuff that's down and we can't get nobody out here to repair it, that's that's killing us. Absolutely. So I'm very, very thankful that NED has really tried to help us in the service department with any little minor issues. New new equipment's got bugs here and there, and they've been right out here to try to address that situation rectify it and get the trucks back moving, and that's what we ultimately want to have. So Gabe, one of the things we pride ourselves on is a lot of the safety features that come with these trucks. Um, you know, the hill assist, the, uh, the, the tip safe feature. Can you kind of go in a little bit to how some of these things have come into play on this job site and how they've helped? Well, first and foremost, the tip safe is probably one of my favorite features because I've been in this industry all my life and I've worked around these trucks for many, many years. and. We've always had an issue of drivers, especially inexperienced young operators that come in. Even after they're properly trained, they always seem to flip one of these things over. Yeah. It, it never fails. They figure out a way to do it. Yeah. So since we've had these, we've not had a single incident with an inexperienced operator that has been trained properly flipping one of these trucks because okay. it will not allow them to dump that bed if it's over 15 degrees or whatever the settings is in the computer. So I love that feature. I don't have to worry about them flipping nothing over, hurting nobody, tearing anything up. There again, more downtime. Um, so that has been great. The hill assist feature I really like because sometimes we get in some challenging situations sure. where we're vertical. You know, I mean, it's straight up and down. These trucks, if they feel the truck moving while it's sitting there, it'll apply the parking brake. So therefore you don't have no rolling incidents, you know, crushing the front end of another truck. So I do like that. There's a lot of good safety features on the trucks I do enjoy that it, it makes my job easier because I don't have to watch everybody like a hawk. I can focus on what I'm trying to do awesome. on the job at, you know, give out the task and, and handle my tasks. Gabe, you've been in this business for a long time. How long have you been working with FM Kitchens and, and what did you do before this? And, you know, what do you love about what you do? Uh, I've been with FM Kitchens, I think August will be nine years for me, um, pretty much. And I've been doing grading demolition and clearing my whole life. I grew up in a grading business. Um, so I've been around it. That's the only thing I've ever done. The only thing I ever really cared about doing was yeah. running equipment. So I'm a nerd when it comes to this stuff as it is. The thing I love about this, where I'm at now in my, my life, is the company owner, Fred Kitchens. Can't work for a better person. If I did not work for him, I'd be in my own business. So he uh, he's always been very uh, generous to me. He's always been good to me very approachable, down-to-earth guy. Yeah. Um, got a really big heart for his employees. He treats his people very well. Uh, you know, and, and we've grown tremendously since I got here. I mean, we had a, just a handful of equipment when I come to work here. Now we're, you know, 
50 plus and growing every day. And if we could find qualified help, we'd be a lot bigger. But <laughs> we've got a good reputation with our clients. We've got some really uh, long-term relationships that we've had with, with companies such as Van Winkle and other people. Um, they love us, we love them, Carol Daniels. We work for a lot of you know big companies on the northeast side of town. Um, they love us, we love them, we have a great working relationship and uh, other than that, man, I you know I just love where I'm at. You know, it's it's been a been a really good job, really good job. Um, very proud to work here. You know, I, I rep the FM Kitchens gear everywhere I go, even on the weekends, because I'm very proud of the company. You know, and he makes the employees here feel like, you know, they've got skin in the game. You know, just because it's got FM Kitchens, it belongs to all of us, and he makes us feel that way. Oh yeah. So that's that's a motivator. You know, it makes you feel good about coming to work every day and working hard for him. And he and he's great, man. He's great. I just hope the relationship with NED keeps getting stronger. Love to, you know, y'all guys have been great up to this point. Hopefully we, we'll have a long lasting relationship and do a lot of business together. Paul, how long you been with FP Kitchens? Um, let's see, three years, three months. Three years, three months. I started in December 2020. Have you always been a, a truck driver? I have not, actually. I worked for Amor in Illinois as a power company for 22 years. What did you do over there? I was in uh, right away and vegetation management. Okay. Pulling trees out of power lines and power restoration. What do you like about working with F and Kitchens? I like knowing the owner, um, working for a uh, a power company for so long, it's uh, changing hands of, of administrators, and um, you know, every couple of years you get someone else in charge with different sure, roles, sure. different plans. Uh, knowing the owner, uh, knowing all the guys I work with very well, uh, we get treated well. Fred's a solid guy to work for. Fred is a solid he's guy. He's a solid guy to do business with, too. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> definitely an honest man, in my opinion, uh, and that goes a long way. So you got one guy with the dozer, and then you got these guys with the uh, with, our rollers. with the compaction yeah, coming right behind them. Yes, exactly. So you're taking that fresh dirt, you're coming over here, they're spreading it, and then packing it down. That's correct, that's correct. And right now, so they vibrate too, but we're not vibrating this, because the vibration brings the moisture up. Okay. So we're just static rolling it back and forth um, until we get it to tighten up like that, and then we can start compacting. How much dirt are you guys moving a day? Oh man, a lot, a lot. I couldn't tell you in yards. Um, but you've got three trucks running up, eight hours. All y'all are doing? Uh, typically 10, 11 hours. Oh wow. Uh, so yeah, and with uh, the larger hoe we're running up there, that 490, it, uh, it goes a lot faster. So like this giant pile of dirt you see over here that was left on this job for close to 10 years, just yeah. getting wet. We were hoping to use this as fill. That's not the case, it's not so good to use, so we gotta get that out of there. We're what are y'all doing with it all? Y'all burying it? We're putting it on slopes, we're burying it. It's A lot of it's gonna go to the other side. We gotta get it off of there because we gotta, we gotta get to that part of the job, but with that hoe, that hoe operator, and running three trucks, we can move that in two days. Uh, I've always said, if I had to choose another career path, it would be a haul truck driver. It's it's not bad, it's not bad. And I can run all the other equipment, that the what Clay's running back there, I ran that for a year and a half, which that does is great. I can run, I can run all the equipment but I've been uh, you know, I'm putting this seat because I'm so good at it. <laughs> yes, you are. These guys are so quick, man. They're Our crazy. crew now, we're bigger than we were in the last, Kitchens has grown a lot in the last three and a half years. Yeah. And our crew is a lot bigger than it used to be by, by more than twice. And we've had some come and go in the past year, year and a half. Sure. But who we have today, we gel, we all get along, we all know our responsibilities, and we get it done. So, I think uh, we, we call ourselves the A-Team, I don't know if that's true. I call, I call, I call you guys the A-Team. 
I call us the oh, Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> That's what I call us. But any other guys that come from other crews and come work with us for yeah. you know, a few days, weeks, they don't want to leave. They're like, come on, you guys are having too much fun. No, I love hanging out with you guys out here. Everybody is. We're having too much fun out here, man. Like friends. Well, you guys have three belt trucks now. What do you like about them so far? As an operator, I can tell that they spent the time on the interior, the cab, and the operation of the vehicle with the operator in mind. Okay. There is not a lot of equipment where the operator is truly, that I feel in some of the, the equipment that, that, that the operator is being considered. So, two favorites, the okay. seat. It's fantastic. Love the seat. Love the seat. Okay. Um, any of those other trucks will blow your spine out of your back. Power steering. Power steering is something to behold. It's okay. really nice. The other trucks, all the other trucks, the cat trucks and the Volvo trucks I've driven, there's full tension in the steering wheel, no power steering. So you, I'd get one of those knobs that mount. Really? So you're cranking it so all you're cranking, day. Oh yeah, it hurt my shoulder, my hand's trying to crank the steering wheel. So those two right there says a lot. The, the room in the cab is really nice. How quiet it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, really. You close this up because we we all communicate with beeps. Yeah. Right. So if I close this window up, the door is closed. Gabe is right there loading me. He beeps. I can't hear it. If somebody's over here beeping at me, telling me to stop or go, I can't hear it. So, you know, the, the cab is, the cab is incredible. I think comfort is so high up there on the list, and you, you guys are running these things, like you said, sometimes 11 hours a day. Oh, yeah. Easy, and you can, easy, and yeah. you can get out and not be beat to death. That's, That's huge. That is a major deal. I, I injured my back last year and still operating it one of those Volvo trucks, and I would have to drive so slow. Really? Oh yeah, everybody else is flying around, and I just, because every little bump uh, really hurt. This one does not, this one does not. I haven't tried the seat heater, but I'm a, I'm a big guy, and I don't really need that. In fact, it's a chilly day, and I got the air conditioner on. Yeah, the sun's <laughs> so bright and the sun's beaming. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I mean, we haven't done a lot of giant inclines um, to really test the power of the pull it's got. Yeah. But uh, she seems to do the job. It seems, I, I, I hate to say over-engineered, but it's definitely engineered. It's, it's nice. It's definitely the nicest truck I've done. For sure. Yeah, I, I like it very much. I'm out here now with Weston. He's a senior project manager with FM Kitchens. Can you tell us a little bit about what your role is with the company and uh, a little bit about the job site and what you do? Yeah, so I've been with FM Kitchens about three years now. I do estimating and project management on several of our projects, ranging anywhere from you know small acreage to a site like this, you know, 20 acre uh, commercial commercial project. So Weston, you were here when we delivered these three trucks. What were your first impressions when they showed up on site? Well, I mean, first thing, they got here when y'all said they were gonna be here. So, you know, following up on what, what you say you're gonna do is big. Great looking trucks, all brand new. So far, everything's been great. They've been great products, fit our needs perfectly. So what are some of the main things that matter to FM Kitchens the most when working with an equipment supplier? Um, I mean, a partnership is what we're looking for. Someone who can be honest, you know, do what they say they're gonna do. A partnership that helps us, you know, get us what we need, keeps us running, keeps production on our jobs moving. And I mean, that's that's the main key things. NED so far, they've been very uh, proactive on their approach of PMs, services. Um, they've come up and had a quick response time any time that we've had something go on. These are new trucks, so. There's been some safety features we've had to adjust, some gear ratios and stuff, and then them coming out here on the front end, when these things were delivered, they brought Bell's main product support out here to teach us, and they did a whole day training on, on these products. And, um, you know, that was big that they invested the time um, to make sure that we were trained properly on, uh, on the Bell trucks. 
If you're interested in any more information on the Bell trucks or any of the other equipment that we offer, look us up online at anydealers.com. Thank you.